Ding, 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 ding. Welcome back to the James Williams Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Postmates. Get Postmates right now. Order it. We already did today. Go to postmates.com slash Jen and Julian. Use code Jen and Julian in the Postmates app. You get $100 off free delivery credit for your first seven days. Great food. All your favorite restaurants delivered right to your door. Also, guys, the skim. Do you want to know things? Hey. What the hell, Julian? Do you want to know things? The skim helps you know things. All the important news stories going on in the world. The skim is a daily newsletter that comes in your email for free and lets itself in. Go to the skim. T-H-E-S-K-I-M-M-M. Two M's dot com slash Jane Julian. It's completely free. Also, you sign up to win a Visa gift card or two hundred and fifty dollars or euros worth a different amount because the exchange rate is a little scuffed. Also, guys, feed your dogs. Farmer's dog. The farmer's dog is the best way to feed your pets. They give completely custom made meal plans for your pets that will be so delicious that they're just going to bother you all day. Because they want dinner so bad. Ours do it to us. Go to thefarmersdog.com slash Jen and Julian. Get 50% off your first two weeks. Julian, I am too tired for this. That is too much energy. <laughs> He's falling off. No, oh my he goodness. Isn't. No, Horrible. he isn't. Yeah, he is. His tail's hanging off the bed. He's like a little clock. His tail's fine. No, 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 like his left butt cheek is falling off of his bed. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. Look at him. He's, yeah, you know, I got you. you. I'm you looking got after him. two new tattoos in two days. <laughs> My favorite part of Halloween is seeing someone teach their young child how to make that noise and then recording them on their phone. Someone tweeted that at you, right? Yeah, it was Instagram story I reposted. Speaking of tweets. Oh, my <laughs> God. Today was such a great day, y'all. Such a great day. I'm so tired. I want to take a nap. We didn't really sleep a lot last night. We we had a little bit Brett's of a celebration. Birthday. Yeah, we celebrated Brett's birthday, our, our friend Brett, um, by consuming things like alcohol and more alcohol last night. So And then not sleeping very much. But I'm laying in bed. It's like 9 a.m. And I'm on my phone, just barely waking up. Like, just look at my phone, just kind of scrolling through Twitter. And then all of a sudden, a new tweet pops up on my feed. And I'm like, what? Where did this tweet come from? And it was Jenna. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? Jenna just tweeted like 20 seconds ago. And I look and I look to my left and she's fucking out. Like, I thought she was just completely passed <laughs> out. And I'm like, what? what the heck? And I lean f- like further over her body and I see her phone is on. <laughs> On her back, like screen facing her back in Twitter, and her back <laughs> tweeted twice this morning, and I start busting up. I'm like dying laughing. You're like Jenna, wake up! I'm like you Jenna, just tweeted. I'm like Jenna, you just tweeted. Wake up! And she's she's like, what? And she like pulls up her phone. Like she doesn't have her glasses. She's like putting it this close to her face. She's like, what? And I'm just dying. And she's like, oh my god! I tweeted from my sleep. <laughs> It's so weird too. Like it's like a bunch of L's and words. Like L life. I, I'll read them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a. <laughs> the first tweet is <laughs> life like L P L L P L L L L L L L L L L P L O L. Well, like that's a word. Like I must have been hitting like the keyboard where it like auto fills in words. You know. And then your next tweet was lol. <laughs> <laughs> and like the funniest part obviously is because twitter is so funny and you guys are so funny is like just the replies are amazing yeah people started responding immediately <laughs> and then someone tweeted this where they quote tweeted the one that says lol and have you seen this no country boy i, <laughs> I love, love you. you and then jenna's tweet lol stop i'm so embarrassed i know <laughs> Wait, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, people were like, big same mood. Yes. <laughs> like half of the people thought I stole your phone and just tweeted nonsense. And I then- know. Well, I woke up and I was like, I'm going to delete them. But I was going to like tweet what happened first and then delete them. And then you're like, no, leave them up. I was like, like leave no, these suckers up, dude. It's so embarrassing. She was like, let me delete them. I was like, no, you got to leave them up. They're so good. I fell asleep on Twitter. I was reading about the smog in India, in Delhi, about how 
awful it is right mm-hmm. now and the air quality i remember that was like the last thing that i read and must have just like dozed off and then the next thing i know you're like you just tweeted and i'm like oh no it is like one of your fears though to accidentally like go live or tweet while your phone's in your pocket or Isn't something that everybody that's i mean it's yeah but it's i just mean like you're the proverbial your fear like it's everyone's mm-hmm. kind of like <laughs> i would hate to like tweet from my pocket or go live when i'm eating spaghetti really loud yeah i don't know anything um so that was dope hell yeah dude my my dude killing it up in the Stop. twitter i know you're really ottery and tired i'm so I'm, sa- I'm the same way tired. like i didn't i never sleep well after a drink just literally i can't ever get good sleep i'm just i was up late talking and then Next thing you know, I wake up like a couple hours later and then I was like, that was not a full night's sleep because I was rudely awoken by, by, by myself <laughs> tweeting. Oh, man. Well, we got Bunny in the room. Bunny in the house. Shouts out, Bunny. She's, She's just chilling so in her cute. bed. You she know what's funny? Is spot. She loves this spot in the podcast room, but she doesn't quite know when we're podcasting and when we're not. So every time she comes upstairs, she just walks to the podcast room and it'll be like a Tuesday. And we're like, funny. Like, it's not podcast day. Are we podcasting? And she's like, no, oh, we're, you got it in here? no we're podcasting today. And we're There's like, no. a bed in there that I like. I would like to go podcast. Yeah. No, no podcast today. You like podcast? You like podcast? Poor bunny slipped and fell in the pool the other day. She, uh, we, we were, um, we were chilling in the, in the room downstairs that has the door to the, the back, the backyard and jenna heard the splash so we, we ran out and she was just getting out of the, the hot, hot tub. tub she fell in the hot tub but w- we had to check the tape the security camera to see what had happened and basically she was running along the side of the pool where there's not much room it's like the edge of the pool and then the fence to probably the neighbor a squirrel and she's probably chasing a squirrel or something she runs along it and her foot slips into the pool while she's running and to like kind of compensate back her balance to get back out of the pool she like jumps into the hot climbs tub climbs into the hot tub but like she's already moving fast and like i think she like you know scraped her leg a little bit she, and then she gets well, in the hot tub she was never underwater she was like on the side where there's a seat in the hot tub and yeah she was walking along there but then because she has really tissue paper thin skin such thin skin when yeah. she went to go pull herself out of the hot tub she scraped both of her knees yeah poor baby i've never met a being with such thin skin Mm-hmm. and be so tough and so thick at the and same so thick. time but like seriously the toughest dog ever mm-hmm. she has never even so much as like cried once not a single peep out of her from pain and mm-hmm. she went through a really gnarly cut on her foot and then she fell in the pool and like i know i heard it like right away and by the time i ran out there i saw her like getting out of the, out of the hot tub and shaking off and i'm looking at her and i'm like Bitch, are you fucking wet right now? She's soaking like, wet. Are Jenner. you soaking? Where were you? I look at the pool and it's like splashing around. <laughs> I'm like, what did you just do? Because remember, she used to go in the pool. She used all to go the in the pool during the summer. She and would just it jump was in it. like kind of warm, so I thought maybe she like just you know let herself in the pool and went for a little dip. But no, she slipped into the hot tub and then pulled herself out. Oh. Yeah, she's so cute. She's doing really well, by the way. I know you guys. A lot of you, uh, you're, a lot of the comments on my videos lately have been like, bunny update, please, because I'm just cooking in the kitchen now, and yeah. I'm doing videos where you don't really see, you know, it's not like a vlog, and then Jenna, if you don't see her in Jenna's video, we're like, what's the update? She's doing great, you know? Like, she's, we were, I was, we were talking about it the other day, because she had such a good day the other day, and she was so, like, present and excited and happy the whole day. A lot of tail wagging. A lot of tail wagging. She does this thing, where she, she, we call it spamming more. I taught her more. Yeah. So tell tell them what spamming more is. Well, she it's really so cute. when I she's like... laying on the ground somewhere, she'll she started. You can see it in some videos where she started doing this thing because she likes the inner thigh rubs. So she'll lift her leg up like mm-hmm. she wants you to scratch her inner thighs or pet her inner thighs, or she really likes her neck and like her head or ears and mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. So. I'll walk up to her. She'll go like this. <laughs> so I start petting her. And then I wanted her to like, she seemed like she was enjoying it, right? Yeah. So I'm like, let's establish a communication here because Peach does it all the time. Like these guys know how to ask for attention yeah. when they want it. So I wanted her, I, although I really like the, 
I roll over and lift my leg up, I don't I don't know when you want me to stop or if you would like me to keep going. Am I bothering <laughs> yeah. you? You know, you let me know. Because, yeah. because Bunny does have a limit. She doesn't like to just endlessly get pet. She's like, okay, I'm good. Yeah, and she's also a dog that appreciates a little bit of space. Yes. Like, I don't think she needs to be like cooed at and touched constantly. Yeah. Like yeah. I think she likes being left alone She sometimes. does, yeah. So I wanted to give her the opportunity to communicate with me how much pets she would like. Mm-hmm. So what I started doing was uh, petting her and then stopping. And then I would take her hand and I go, you want more? And I would like, you know, hold it or put it on my knee or like go like this mm-hmm. and then pet her some more and yeah. then stop and hold her paw. Like essentially teaching her how to go like paw like you. Like she goes like this when she when you're she, done petting. If, if she, she would like yeah. some more pets. It's and like it's like pulling the lever. It's like she. <laughs> yeah. She's so obviously so smart that she just learned that in like, you know, 20 minutes. Yeah. And. So now I was like the first couple of times that I did it, I was like, she's so sweet because she'll, I'll, I'll pet her and go, you want more? And she'll go like this uh-huh. and I'll be like, wow, you know, do a little bit more. And then she's kind of done. And I'm yeah. like, that's so sweet. You know, she doesn't spam it. Like she's peach. not over here like spamming more. Peach spams more. But like the last few days, she has been spamming more. <laughs> it's like um, even more. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. You pet her some more and she's like more, more, yeah. more, more. And I'm like, oh no, I regret more. Yeah. Like she does spam it. She does, however, like spam it to a limit. Peach, if you let her, she would spam it until she fell asleep. Endless. Endlessly. She like cannot get enough attention. If you're petting her, she'll grab your hands while you're petting her yeah. like neck and then you stop and she'll just be like get the fuck back over here yeah, more. like paw on your phone everything like that yeah i've never met a dog i mean i've seen them but i've never actually met a dog that like will physically grab your arm and hold on I to know. it Peach. while you're petting yeah it's it's wild it's it's like a muay thai clinch yeah it's like when a muay thai fighter has the back of an <laughs> opponent's head that's what she does to your arm she's like you're not going anywhere yeah. i got you now she does that thing, like, if you're doing something with your hands that isn't paying attention to her, she'll pull your hand off of whatever it is she'll, you're doing. With her, hand, with her hand, or she'll stick her nose, like, yeah. if there's this much room underneath your hand in the surface, she'll get her nose under there, so then you're petting her without ever petting her. She just, like, pet herself with your hand. <laughs> yeah, Buddy learned more, so she's been getting so much attention because now she's really confident in more. She's like, I want more. She's so confident. What a confident girl. She's a really good, good goyel. Such and good goyel. We sleep with her crate open now. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We do. We. Uh, she started to have, you know, like her progress is like random, I would say. She'll have like random days where she's making really great progress. And then, of course, she has days where she struggles a little bit. Um, like recently, she was struggling with nighttime. She didn't like, all of a sudden, she just didn't want to come upstairs to bed. Mm-hmm. Um we would put her in her crate once she came upstairs and shut it like we normally do. And she didn't like being in there. She would, like, she would start barking she would bark and like literally bark at night. Like when we're trying to go to sleep, she would bark. So we're like, okay, this is not working. She would want to get out of the crate. So we just started opening up her crate and opening the door to, to our bedroom, to the house so that if she wanted, she could just kind of like wander downstairs and sleep down there a little bit. Or and come she back did that up. a couple times. And she did that. She would like go to her spot in the stream room and be like, I'm going to sleep down here. I need this, you know, I need this area right now. And then she would kind of come up at like 3 a.m. I would hear her come up. Yeah, go back in her like, crate. Yeah, she moves like such a funny cadence. Yeah. Like, gee, I wonder who that is coming <laughs> up the stairs. Her feet are so loud on our floor. With your loud ass. Her bare paws. And then she'll, you know, so we just, we stopped shutting her crate, which is really great because I think she feels a lot happier. She feels safe because she has like the back, the den part of the crate covered, but it's open yeah, in front. She's to not where, like trapped in there. And yeah. But but she's also good about staying in a locked crate when we leave the house. Yes. With Lil Kong. Like, she's yeah. still good at that. It was just nighttime. She wasn't feeling Yeah, but it. like, when we, so now when we're sleeping in there, because, you know, we we're a little nervous to leave her crate open at night because we have little dogs that go creeping around in the middle of the night and in the morning and, you know. Just, <laughs> they do go creeping. It's Kermit. He creeps around. I don't know what he's doing. He, like, creeps around. Ugh, whatever. He's... But I'm like, you know, would that bother Bunny? Would she get up? You know, would, are they going to be interacting while we're not awake? Which, you know, not we try to avoid to the best of our ability um, just in case. But I'm like, 
we just decided we were like, yeah, let's try it. Sleep with the crate open. And it just makes her feel like bet you can tell mm-hmm. because even when in the morning you you'll get up, you'll bring her downstairs, feed her breakfast, and then she'll come back upstairs and like get in her crate until yeah. I get out of bed and everybody's yeah. like out, all the littles are out. Like she waits with the pack mm-hmm. to go downstairs and like start the day, mm-hmm. you know? But like I think there's something about a crate that she does like, but mm-hmm. the idea of having no choice of leaving the crate, she doesn't like. Yeah. You know? And I think she just kind of decided that randomly. Yeah. You know, it was like one night she was in there and we were watching TV. I don't want to be She's like, I don't want to be here. I'm going to bark. And that's like, that was tough. It was like, a uh, it was tough for us because we we're like, what happened? What happened? Like we, we had the good thing going. You were good about the crate at night. And then all of a sudden now you're barking at us. And it was getting, it was getting to the point where like we were, we were exhausted. We were mm-hmm. losing, losing a little sleep over it. It happened like for a week right? Maybe a little over. And when we finally just like let her out and she, you know, decided when she could come and go, it was a good, it's like a good thing because I don't know, it's like a sign of like trust that we can let her around the house at night. Mm-hmm. She's not going to do anything naughty, Yeah, but, um, she's Does also it. just prefers it that way. Yeah. Like the times that <clears throat> she has slept downstairs, you know, you get up in the morning and she's just like, Hey, yeah, like, do you do anything down here? And she's like, no. Yeah. Cool. All right. Sick. I was like, Bunny, what are you doing? She's like, I'm just starting my day. Nothing. I'm like, how okay. are you starting your day? And she's like, reading the skim. Yeah. <laughs> Julian. Come on. You were going to laugh. <laughs> you like cut your laugh off. That was good. Keep laughing. Uh, Praise me. Praise me in my segues. That was really good. Thank you. Thank you. The skim, while we're on the topic, I mean, you guys, you know, you saw how natural that was. It just happened. Uh, the skim is a great newsletter. It's a tool that you can use every day where it sends a newsletter to your email with all the top news stories in a very easy to digest format. It's not convoluted. There's not opinions. You don't have to scroll a bunch. It's it's very simple. It's nice, easy, bite size. It's great to have with the start of your day while you're drinking your coffee, having your cereal, whatever it is, the skim is there for you. All you have to do is go to the skim, T-H-E-S-K-I-M-M.com slash Jenna Julian. And when you sign up, not only do you get free, awesome news content every day and a really easy, opinionless, you know, way of reading it, but you're signed up to win a $250 Visa gift card with that subscription. It is awesome. It takes like five minutes. You can skim the most important news of the day. So check it out. Also, guys, Postmates, the wonderful delivery app that delivers all your favorite foods right to your front door or your office, wherever you are. Postmates is there for you 365 days a year. No driving, no parking, no talking on the phone. Okay, if you're just having one of those days where you can't fucking deal with being a person and interacting, Me. it's all on the app. It's really amazing. They had us in mind. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> they had us in mind with Postmates. Um, you get to track your order on the map. It's really great. Uh, if you like need to know an ETA, it's not like you have to text someone for an ETA. You can literally see their ETA because you see how far they are from where you were getting the food delivered. Marble, Marble, wake up. We had Postmates earlier today. We use it a lot. It's wonderful. And you can use it too by going to postmates.com slash Jenna Julian or go to the Postmates app in the app store, download it, and use code Jenna Julian for $100 off free delivery credits for your first seven days. And then when your doggies need to eat, just get Farmer's Dog. Our dog, all three of our little dogs love Farmer's Dog. We uh, signed up with them a long time ago when they joined us as a sponsor for the podcast. We logged on and created a special profiles where you answer some questions about your dog's eating habits. And then they formulate a meal plan and send you the fresh, farm fresh dog food for your dogs. That I'm telling you, they're going to love it. They're going to love it so much. It's just Even a really short... Even if they have no teeth. Marble loves it. They Sometimes they'll like jump up and horse kick me while I'm on my way to feed them it because they're so excited to just get it do in their mouth. Do not do that horse thing. <laughs> Peach does the horse kick. Um, so check it out. The food arrives at your door in pre-proportioned packs, which is really convenient, ready to open and serve, um, which makes feeding so quick. I literally feed them in like under a minute. It's amazing. So start feeding your dog better today. Get 50% off your first two-week trial of fresh, healthy food at thefarmersdog.com slash Jenna Julian or click the link down below. Awesome stuff, y'all. Thank you, sponsors. Thanks, sponsors. Yeah, I'm really, I'm proud of Fufi. She's been doing really good. And last night we had... Brett's birthday. So we had six dogs here. Oh my God. Yeah, we, we had, had a lot of dogs. R4, and then Brett bought, brought a Buzz and Lucy. Mm-hmm. And she had never met Lucy, and she was able to just like meet them immediately, like any dog mm-hmm. at, you know, in her house. And she said hello. Mm-hmm. She wagged her tail at Lucy. She really liked her. I think she really likes girl dogs. She does. Yeah. And uh, her and Peach have been getting closer too. 
Peach just like straight up gives her kisses. Yeah. If Bunny walks up to the couch, Peach will just walk over to her and kiss her. Yeah. And I'm like, that is the cutest shit, girls. Yeah. Stop it. It's, well, oh like, my God. I think they're finally getting over that like weird female dynamic mm-hmm. to where at the beginning it was like, who's who here? You know? Yeah. Well, who, because who's... Peach is so hyper beta. <laughs> she can't you help could it. could not be more beta. Bunny is not at the bottom of the pack. Peach is... Peach, Peach is... is the bottom of the barrel. Bunny's younger than Peach and newer than Peach and Peach has still found herself at the complete bottom of the pack. She is the beta she of all betas. She has no authority in this house. Yeah. None. She... Yeah. So, but... For a while, Peach had this like fear of Bunny, which was warranted because Bunny... Bunny's big. Bunny's big. And she big, had an energy that she, was not... She had different energy. And yeah. also she would do this thing where anytime she saw Peach, she would get excited and go towards Peach. And then Peach would run away, which sort of then further encouraged Bunny to chase her. So it doesn't happen much anymore. But for a while, Peach was just kind of scared of Bunny. Mm-hmm. And she's finally gotten to the point where now she's... Now Peachy chases Bunny. She front. loves... She chases Bunny around she when Bunny does the zoomies. dusted. Sometimes she'll... Like absolutely be so out of her league. It looks like a child is trying to chase an NFL player because they're both fast, but Bunny is just a different. Mm-hmm. Anyway, but now she's, she's been, confident she's she can come up and kiss her. Doing really good. We had our friends here for Brett's birthday and six dogs, and she's been doing better with the TV. She'll walk out like into the main living area when the TV's on, hang out, make her rounds, say hi to people. She really likes people. Like when Brett came over, she gave him a kiss mm-hmm. the other day. And she won't leave Lexi alone, our she friend Lexi. She loves Lexi. She loved Mark. It, like it's really, it's just so nice to have a dog that like when someone comes in the door, she doesn't do anything other than just like walk up to the, uh, up to them and greet them. Mm-hmm. She greeted their dogs. Mm-hmm. She was like, welcome to my home. Yeah, I would love to smell you. Would you like to touch my head? This <laughs> was a lovely exchange. All right, I'm going to go lay down. Yeah, it is. It's wonderful. It's refreshing. It's almost like what dogs should do when a guest arrives. Marble. Marble and Kermit. We talking to y'all. You loud rats. All right. I'm going to read. We had this idea uh, oh, no. to read some holiday recipes. Oh. And Jenna has to get what the recipes are by reading by me reading the ingredients. So I'm going to do a few of them. Um, is this guess that recipe holiday guess. edition? Yes, it is. Because now that Halloween's over, it's Christmas. It's Christmas, baby. Happy what Christmas. What about Hanukkah? You're Jewish. I got some Hanukkah stuff in here. Don't worry, baby. Oh, now you just ruined it. Oh, uh, oh, don't worry. You're going to need help. Okay. These are tough. Number one, here we go. I'm so tired doing it. I know, babe. <laughs> just guess that recipe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to start reading uh, ingredients now. Clear washable PVA school glue. Wait, glue? Julian. Some of these are crap. <laughs> Wait. No, it's a recipe. I looked up recipes and this popped up. It's technically a recipe. Wait, so if you don't know how this works, Julian's going to read the ingredients to something and we have to guess. We as in me, but you can play along. Guess have to guess that, that recipe. recipe. <laughs> My favorite of which was what? Like rice and water. Gruel. And it was gruel. <laughs> yeah, I had a hard time guessing gruel. Sorry. I was hey, like, baby. rice, you're making hey, rice. You know, you got to know the ingredients to gruel. You just never know. When you're going to need the ingredients to gruel. It's like, how are you not Which is just rice and water. Rice. When the gruel hits. Brilliant. All right. Okay. Washable PVA school glue. I don't understand how this is a recipe. If there's Silver glue. and blue glitter glue bottles. Silver and blue glitter. Do you, are you getting the color? Are you getting the color scheme? Point your Are you getting the color scheme? Yes, it's Hanukkah. Point your phone <laughs> away from Half me. Half a cup of water. Julie. Half a cup of liquid starch. That doesn't sound edible. Silver and, and blue sequins. Decorative dreidels. <laughs> Slime container. <laughs> Damn it. That fuck. Damn it. Julian. <laughs> this is Hanukkah slime. <laughs> it's Hanukkah slime. <laughs> no, it's you. This, Hanukkah slime. <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. It's supposed to be a food recipe, Julian. Okay, uh, moving on. This Hanukkah one's, slab. <laughs> this one's from Betty Crocker, so you know it's edible. Wait, the recipe's from Betty this Crocker? This one, yeah. Four and a half cups of gold metal all-purpose flour. One package of yeast. Two tablespoons of sugar. Two teaspoons of salt. One cup of butter. Two eggs. One egg white. 
nine large yellow gum drops. Julian. That's it. Them's the ingredients. Oh, and frosting and toothpicks. That's it. What do you guess? A gingerbread house, but it's not. No, nope, because there's no ginger. A ginger cake. There's no ginger I, store. I know it's not a ginger. Okay, I'm sorry. Saying. It's right. a cake with gumdrops on top of it. A gum cake. Close. No. Think You're making of, a cake. Not a cake. It's like pizza dough. Close, sir. Pastry dough? No, warm, Pie? colder, colder, colder. You were close with pizza dough. How is that helpful? That means savory. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a dessert, it's savory. <laughs> what language is that? You know, holiday. That means savory. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, okay. You were close with pizza, but it's actually a menorah shaped hollow bread. Julian, stop! <laughs> What that's are what the they gumdrops come, that's for? That's what the candles are. They're gumdrops on top. Those are not gumdrops. Yeah, they are. They, they're a toothpick with gumdrops, gum, gumdrops stuck through them. That looks terrible. It looks disgusting. It's pretty awful. It looks like a, a small bread plane that's about to take <laughs> flight. It's like already half on fire. That's my city, dude. Oh, yeah. Don't look at my phone. Then point it away from me. I can't read it that way. <laughs> Imagine if you just saw someone looking at their phone like this. <laughs> They're just typing on the side. Okay. Here we go. Recipe number 14. Two eight-ounce blocks of cream cheese. Mm. Guess what temperature they have to be. Room. Good. Three half a cup. Three and a half cups, I mean. <laughs> three and a half cups of sharp cheddar cheese. Guess oh, what temperature that has to wait, be. Wait. Hold on. So you're saying it's... It's a (laughs) recipe. (laughs) Guess what temperature the cheese has to be at? Cold. No, room. Room. You had it before. One ounce package of ranch ranch seasoning mix. Ew. One and a half cups of crushed pecans? Pecans? Pecans. (laughs) What? I don't know. (laughs) I don't know how to say it. Pea sands. Pea, crushed pea sands. You gotta crush the pea sands fine <laughs> to make a recipe. Stop. Pea sands. What temperature do you think the pea sands have to be? Hot. Hot. Hot ass pea sands. Wait, wait, time out. What? I was watching a TikTok earlier. Yeah. And they were like, the vowels in this word. Are like uh, how what 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 was it? Ocean. It was oh the oh my god the, yeah. the the c in the word ocean makes a sh sound, and then the o u the o w in in shower make a ow sound or whatever. Yeah, and then, and then, then another word kernel like, makes kernel. Yeah, all uh, ma- makes c o l yeah makes er. So he was like, so technically, according to the English language, you could spell shower like, and it was like. <laughs> C O L O W. Yeah. Shower. <laughs> so funny, dude. P sands. P sands. <clears throat> Stop. If you don't, if you don't pronounce P sands like P sands, I don't have time for you. P sands. Two black olives. Oh. One cherry tomato. Literally one cherry tomato. Okay, that's decorative. Two orig- original size. That's completely arbitrary. Original size pretzels. Okay. What is it? Two pretzels? Cream cheese, sharp cheddar, ranch seasoning, pea sands, olive, tomato, <laughs> pretzels. That sounds gross. I'll give you a hint. It's fucking stupid. You're making like a cheesy dip with like olive and... Why would... The, you, you you nailed it when I said the one cherry tomato. You said it's, it's decorative. It's decorative. Yeah. So same with olives. Is it a Santa dip? No, but close. Close. Rudolph the Red Nose <gasps> Rain Dip. Rudolph Cheese Ball. Ah! Damn. You did it to him. Look how stupid this is. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the pea sands go on the outside. Yeah, the pea sands are for the texture. The pea sands are the, the, 
coding. I'm just kidding. It's not stupid. If you made, if this is your pin, I, I didn't mean to insult you. It's probably very creative. Yeah, and, cool. and it's really cute. I love cheese balls. They're so good. Like Whoa. when I was a kid. They make some vegan ones that are really good. I know. Yeah. When I was a kid, like we would go to my aunt's house and she would always have like the port wine cheese and stuff oh. that's like super sharp mm -hmm. and you like sit there with crackers and they're like, don't fill up. And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> this is the best fucking they're cheese I've ever had and I waited all year to eat it, please. <laughs> they're feeding you for free. Why are you mocking them? <laughs> don't fill up on cheese and crackers. <laughs> Shut up. This is the best cheese in the world, you bitch. Let me I, eat it. I had. Thank you for having me. I'm a child. I had similar experiences. Every time I go to my dad's house, my dad and stepmom would put out brie cheese. Mm. And that to me was such a delight. Mm -hmm. I had never, I remember the first time I had it, I was like, I've never tasted anything like this. Mm -hmm. It is so good. Yeah. And we put out crackers and oh my God, I like brie cheese was like that. Brie cheese and crackers was my favorite time of day. Yeah. Always. Like as a kid. I love that. So. I did too, beach. Um, let's now see we what. just on that forever quest to find like the best vegan cheese we can because some of it be not so good. Some of it be really bad, but some of it also be really dope. Really good. There's a few companies actually. I just I just put it in an order and I got some. Yum. It's like a brie type cheese and it's really good. But oh man, she like honestly that's cute that she put the pretzels in there with the nose and yeah. a little reindeer cheese ball. That's super cute. But I mean. Let's who are we fooling? Once we get hungry, we taking all that off of this and give me the pea sands. Yeah, pea sands or oh die. Pea sands or oh, GTFO. Give me some of that pea sand pie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready? Mm, are you ready? Yeah. Materials. Marshmallows. Hershey's kisses. Thin pretzel sticks. Blue sugar sprinkles. White frosting used as glue. And a spreader. Marshmallows, Hershey's Kisses, pretzels. You're definitely making something decorative. But it's edible. But it is edible. It's like you're making a marshmallow reindeer. Okay, you did reindeer last time. You can't just do that same guess. But like what else has like brown legs? Hold on, hold on. Pay attention to the colors. Okay, blue glitter. Blue sugar sprinkles. Okay, a marshmallow menorah. <gasps> close. Fuck, that was close. A marshmallow mezuzah. Close. Maybe a little colder, but still close. Mm, okay, a marshmallow yarmulke. Here, I'll give you a hint. It's, marshmallow it is not, Torah. It is not. Oh, so it's, what's, what's the other one? <laughs> <laughs> that's savory. No, that's no. sweet. That's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> savory. <laughs> If you ever are wondering what it's like for me and Julian to just like communicate with each other on a daily basis, it's like this. It'd be this. This is the kind of conversation that you and I would have like over dinner one night. You go, when I go, ah, it means <laughs> it's sweet. And when I go, it means it's savory. <laughs> and then you take a bite of something and you go, ah. <laughs> You know what's sweet and savory? Solger. No, do yeah. not make a Parks and Rec joke. No, but it is sa sweet and savory. I'm starting to catch on to your shit. Yeah, you are. <laughs> You're... <laughs> are you hip? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> okay, ah, ooh. Okay, so okay, it's... Okay, I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's, huh? Uh, it's blue. You guessed it's Hanukkah themed. Mm -hmm. um, huh. It does what a DJ does. It to him? Well, DJ does it to him. You know they had to. But what Is does a DJ a do? Remix? No. Yo, DJ. Play that jam. No other word, not play. Pump that jam. Nope, not pump that jam. <laughs> dump it out. I don't think you say, yo, DJ, dump it out. <laughs> yo, DJ. Drop that shit. You're, that shit is perfect. You just <laughs> need to switch the first word. <laughs> Okay. What are they doing? What no, are they physically no, just doing? Just keep going. I can finish. What is sentence. a DJ physically doing? Just keep. Just just look at a DJ no. in your brain right now. No. Say, what is he doing? What what motion? Pop that pussy. Okay. No, he's not. He is not popping his pussy. <laughs> he's doing something else. It's a very very clear motion to the circular disc on his table. He's spinning. Yes. What it does that. A, it's a dreidel. Yeah! It's a uh, dreidel. Uh, dreidel. Ah! Hanukkah Cute. dreidel. It's a marshmallow dreidel? Harsh, uh, marshmallow. <laughs> Harsh. Yeah, Hanukkah marshmallow dreidel. Yum. I don't look at my Pinterest. 
Then stop showing me. By the way, guys, subscribe to my Pinterest. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I got a couple more. A couple more bangers. This one's probably the biggest banger. Except it's not opening. Open in Safari. When the Safari hits. Okay, here we go. Okay, this actually doesn't have a list of ingredients, so it's making me do it for it. I'm just going to look at it and read the list. Uh, Whole wheat toast, three slices. Yum. Okay. Cucumber sticks or celery sticks, one or the other. Baby carrots. That is it. Good fucking luck. And a plate. Crudite. I don't know what language that is. (laughs) It's a... Usually with some hummus or... I don't know. This is. <laughs> <laughs> what? Julian, you went and then you pretended that your eyes were like <laughs> defocusing from everything in front of you. I constantly feel like my eyes are defocusing you from. You just do that on purpose. <laughs> It's so uncomfortable to look at you while you do that. Is it like, is it like my eyes are crossing? Yeah, or is look it? at. I'll show you. No, I'll show yeah. you. Okay. Yeah, do it, do it. No, stop doing it to I'm me. Not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not doing it. I'm looking at you normal. Okay, you ready? Yeah. It's like we're talking yeah. and I'm just like. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you're cross-eyeing a little bit. <laughs> you know who does that? It's really funny. It's Chris. I'll just be like, <laughs> yeah, he does. Um, are you gonna guess? <laughs> fucking tried. <laughs> I don't know a, a kid's vegetable plate. Close menorah shaped out of bread. Julian, <laughs> you show them. That's terrible. Hell yeah! Someone just cut bread and then put celery sticks and then carrot sticks on top to I make it look it. like a I love flame. It. it was beautiful. Did you just swallow so loud? I don't know. <sighs> this one looks so bad. Okay. It's lemon blueberry bread recipe. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. But like, seriously, what is that? That looks good. What blueberry bread? Yeah. No. What about a blueberry bagel? It's a bagel. It's different. Bread? No. This sounds like a Seinfeld episode. It is a Seinfeld episode. That was amazing. Thanks. It's a pretty good show. All right, give me another one since you sh- right. blurted Fuck out no. the recipe. Oh, how do you spell holla? C H A L. Fuck off. L- Fuck off. A- I, I was going to get you with that one. H. Right? Yes. I worked at a Jewish day camp for okay, a long Okay, four time. sheets of matzah. Okay. This is a Christmas recipe. Four tablespoons of pizza sauce. Oh. It's not a Christmas recipe. It's a Hanukkah recipe. That was a joke. Didn't land. Missed. Half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. That is literally it. Matzah pizza. Easy clap, dude. Easiest clap ever. Except... Yum. That's broccoli. <laughs> Why was that on the list of ingredients? Yum. Fake. 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 Okay. Stop making my phone. All right, do you want to? Right. Do that. Huh? Okay. I'll do that. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> you need coconut butter, mm. coconut oil, mm. cocoa powder, mm. maple syrup. Very sweet. How do, you sell, how do you say syrup? Syrup. No, it's syrup. Maple syrup. Syrup. Maple syrup. 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 Like a stirrup. Syrup. Filled with syrup. Oh, God. Are you com- are you comparing maple syrup to a sock? No. Syrup. I don't say syrup. Syrup. I do not say syrup. Say sy- it. Syrup. 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 <laughs> syrup. 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 Uh, Just like peace and uh, pie. Peace and pie. <laughs> peace sands with syrup. Oh my god. That was the worst thing ever. Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> what is even what even is this podcast? I don't know. I told you I'm tired. <laughs> Peace and syrup. I'm like crying. 
crying. Peace hands. I love this. You know what? I love peace hand pancakes with syrup. <laughs> okay, syrup's dope. Syrup. Okay, also a sifter. Sick. A mold or mold. Which one? Well, you can get a mold or you can just get mold. Okay. Gold foil. That doesn't give anything away. Okay. Doesn't have to be edible because you're poisoning the person you're giving this to. I mean, I'm a little distracted by the pea sand syrup. I forgot the rest of the ingredients. You want me to read them again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No worries. It's fine. Julian. Syrup, cocoa powder, coconut oil, coconut butter. Yeah. And syrup. That's it? Yeah, but also syrup. And gold flakes? And gold foil. What else? That was it? Coconut butter, coconut oil, cocoa powder, syrup, a mold, and foil. And a sifter. But those are just tools. Cocoa powder? Uh Uh-huh. Cocoa butter? Mm Mm-hmm. And then coconut oil. Are you making like a... Oh, you know what? Um, it's for a dietary restriction too. That's what that's a, there's a wrench in here. Cocoa butter. Is that like the kind that you put on your body? No, no, no. Yeah. Wait. I don't know. Is it cocoa butter? Gives a creamy texture. Gold flakes. No foil. In a mold. Foil. Is this like a a Hershey's kiss? Very close. Very close. But there's no sugar, as you can tell. So it might be a certain. But there's syrup. Oh, that's true. Then this isn't accurate. Whatever. You can also use honey, it says, but that would make it Sugar-free not Sugar free Hershey's kisses. Okay, that's a good guess. You're wrong, but it's a good guess. Sugar free. Um, what are the Jewish coins called? <clears throat> Gelt. Gelt. Paleo Gelt. Paleo Gelt. Annoying. What? Why did you ever type paleo gelt into Pinterest? Because I was looking for recipes. Julian. Recipe ideas. Julian. Uh, <laughs> that was a good one. Paleo gelt. You, be- you pretty much guessed that it. That was a good one. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> what was that laugh? I like that laugh. <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Last one. I have to read a novel before it gets to the... Okay. Six pounds of apples. Okay. One tablespoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Damn it. It just scrolled me all the way to the top because an ad popped up. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, allspice. Fourth a teaspoon of allspice, nutmeg, cinnamon. Uh, one cup of sugar, granulated. One cup of sugar, brown. The end. That's it? That is it. American gluten-free vegetarian. But apparently not vegan. Are you making apple crisp with no apple crisp? Just baked apples? Think again. Author's name is Lauren. Okay. That might help you. I don't know. That does not help me. Total time to cook. Prep time is 10 minutes. Guess how long the cook time is. 12 hours. 12 hours. 12 hours. So like stewed apples? Close. Are you like I brought some home when I went to Tennessee. Is it moonshine? No, that is so wrong. How would I make moonshine with apples? Can't you make moonshine with fruit? But you need like the alcohol part or you just ferment the fruit. You could just ferment fruit. But it wouldn't take 12 hours. It takes longer than that. Yeah, it that. takes like 12 years. But also you need like you don't need sugar too. Um, 12 hours. You brought some home from I brought some home from Tennessee. from Tennessee. Is it like apple candy? <sighs> Close. Sort of close, though. Applesauce? Close. Oh, my God. It's going to be okay. 12 hours. You can make applesauce so much faster than that. Yeah, but think about what's very close to applesauce. Apple cider? No, further. That was colder. Boo. Apple. It's some sort of like stewed apple almost. Is it, is it hot? No. Ooh. Serve it room temp. I don't know. Apple butter. Ooh. Good fun. guessing though. That was you were very close. Apple butter. Apple butter is so good. Yum. Tastes like apple apples. Butter. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever. It's had like a apple baby butter. food texture, but like it's richer than yeah. applesauce. Fun. 
Yeah. You put it on like what you would put. Yeah. It's like a sweet little thing you could spread on toast or you can kind of put it on like a bowl of, I don't know, like granola or fruit or something like that. It's like fun. Or you take it to the spoonful to the face like I do with almond butter. Just fun. Hit them with the apple butter. Make them leave. Okay. Well, there we go. That was fun. Those that were was good ones. Guess I love that game. Recipe. That game is so fun. It's to a fun me. game. We should play it more, honestly. Um, shouts out to Veronica uh, Ronnie underscore es- Esquivel on Twitter for suggesting that. That was a great idea. I appreciate it. I uh, just think that that's so fun. It's a really you think fun. It's like going in one direction and then it just doesn't. It goes somewhere else. Oh, I should have picked Holiday Gruel. Fuck. <sighs> okay, I'm going to do another one. Ready? Rice, mm-hmm. water, gruel. blue syrup. Gold syrup. Hanukkah gruel. Hanukkah gruel. Ha gruel. Okay, that's, we're going to end it on ha gruel. Uh, thank you guys for listening <laughs> to our holiday recipe guest podcast. And um, thank you, as always, for spending your Mondays with us. We appreciate you. Hell we'll be yeah. back next Monday with another episode of Something on the Podcast. Woo! Have a good one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>